Things are obviously hot down in the pits, and they're even getting hotter on the track. Kelly Moran looking for some points in this one. That's Kelly right there. He's coming from gate four. Out of gate three, the diminutive Dane, Yano Peterson. Out of two, Swedish reserve Heinrich Gustafsson in for Tony Olsen. And Gary Havelock from England off the pole in for Simon Wig. And that's Havelock in the lead with Gustafsson second. Look at the reserves. They got the two top spots. Yano Peterson trying to come inside Gustafsson while Kelly Moran, he missed the start again. He's at the back. Gary Havelock in England with the lead. Peterson goes inside Gustafsson at the end of the first lap. That's for the number two spot. The fans are getting into this one, and they're actually cheering on the Danish rider. They are falling in love with little Jano Peterson. He's trying to hunt down Gary Havelock right now. Peterson, man on the inside line. Havelock's on the middle of the track. Havelock holds him off through lap two. Gary Havelock, a gutty reserve for England. He's holding the flag for the whole country right now. He blocks up Peterson as they come off the second bend on the third lap. Peterson looks wide now. Running in the third spot is Gustafson with Kelly Moran at the back of the field. Havelock again blocks Peterson. Peterson goes to the inside as they hit turn one the last time. Havelock drifts wide. He does a wheelie. Peterson alongside and into the lead as they come off turn two. Havelock tries to go back inside him, but little Yano pulls it down on him. Coming out of turn four, Yano Peterson for the win and three points. What a competitor. Havelock takes second. Third goes to Heinrich Gustafson with Kelly Moran last. I tell you what, that was one of the slowest heats of the night, but Yano Peterson is thrilling all the fans with the way he's going. Let's switch to England's top scorer, Gary Havelock. Gary, I, after three laps, I thought I was going to interview the first English winner tonight. Fantastic ride, little bit of trouble. Jano was pressing you. Yeah, you know, um, I made a really good start off one and drifted out, and I was getting a good line, but then I heard Yano trying to come around the inside, so I was having to go in the corner a lot harder and try and stick to the pole, and I was just drifting with that bit of dirt on the outside, and I just went too wide and hooked up, and he got me, you know. It was a superb. I see you diving under him down the back straight here, so you didn't let him off easy. No, when I when I um, corrected my mistake from the fence, I was making a real long straight, and I had a lot of speed on him, but he just knew where I was going to go and dropped it to the pole and kept me out, you know. Well, we're ready to finish round three with this race.